Purdy Bob's tractor repair. Okay, so what I got here, we got this shaft apart. I found what our problems were. After getting this off, the synchronizer, you can see the rounded edges on it where it had been grinding. That one there is one really bad. Here's the other one. Not terrible. I've seen them a lot worse, but it's a part. We're going to change it. But the biggest issue is, like I showed you before, when you put this inside here, look at how much play is in there. Way too much. And that's what happens when you try to shift it. Your shift fork, you're trying to move that. That's got that much play. It only bites. That's what's funny about this. If you can see this gear right here, it's hard to see it. That synchronizer is only biting on that edge. That's all it's biting on. I wonder if it's easier on this one here. Yes, right there. If you can see that one mark right there at the very, right there, that's all that is biting on when them are engaged. So if you've got too much play in the side to side motion, let's put this one in, put this one in here. Well, that one's not the one that goes in. There's only certain ones it's still on the shaft yet because I don't have to take the rest of the shaft apart because I checked these ones here that are up inside this one and they are absolutely beautiful which is not used that much there's only certain gears a guy uses most of the time so everything else looks good we're gonna get both forks these two drums a new blocker and I'm actually gonna go after this gear right here because if you can see on the edge of it that is worn down that is worn down we're going to grab that too but the discs are beautiful this part where the springs and balls go in you don't want to lose them either there's little springs springs that go in each one of these there's four of them take these discs off you can see it better Springs go in there. These little balls go right in there. That's what makes it shift. That's your your detents when you shift. They are inside this part. Get the light up in here. When it's on there, it's up inside there. Now, the only way that you can put them on is there's a special tool that goes right over the end of the shaft but you put this on there with the balls in there and you, I'll show it when I, when I install it, but it's a comb and it tapers down. That's how you get the, the synchronizer on there for the shift part.